Feel my hands. <laughs> no, feel, 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 feel me smooth hands. I don't want to feel, feel your hands. Feel me smooth hands. Get your please. hand away from me. I've been thinking a lot about death lately because mm. I can't wait to go. And he's fucking out of gold. Yeah. yeah he's a but good guy. he's on the simple spectrum. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think they just call it the spectrum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. I hate holidays. There's so much admin involved. I don't get why people travel. Get called up, so you know, like your <laughs> ticket number and all that. And uh, you know, per specs window. Yeah. Well, I headbutted it in front of <laughs> 50 people. I went, You're the only people at work that can go, oh, I love rape. <laughs> <laughs> they cheered. I got escorted from a party by two twins, and I thought I had double vision. <laughs> what's happening everyone uh thanks for downloading hot water's green room podcast before we kick off with today's fantastic episode i just want to let you know how you can support the podcast you can join up uh, as a youtube member at hot Wa- hot water comedy on youtube sign up to be a podcast member for three pound a month you get early access to the public episodes and a bonus episode each week not only that You'll get access to all of the podcasts that are coming on the Hot Water Podcast Community Channel. It's going to be the place to come for podcasts in the Northwest. I hope you enjoy the episode. Thank you. Hello, it's on Water Screen Room Podcast, me, Jamie Eight. Uh, <laughs> I'm joined with my co-host, stepping in for Big Sexes, eh? Mr. Callum Oakley. Yes. Thanks for coming, mate. No worries. And our very special guest, the one and only Justin Morehouse. Hi. Hello, mate. Thanks Some people might be tuning into this going, oh, where's the other lad and why has he sent his daddy? He never knew. <laughs> <laughs> I look, I've turned up and gone, where's my lad? <laughs> <laughs> He's not ready for that. He's, He's got commitment ready. issues, mate. Take Callum instead. <laughs> no. How are you, mate? I'm very well, oh. thank you very much. Do a lot better than you. Yeah, I'm. I'm, uh, I'm in a bad way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you I'm in like a bad shit, way. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I just picked him up before. I said, "Are you all right?" And he goes, "No, I'm rough, rough, really rough." I went, "What's up?" He went, "Oh, I just can't." And I went, "Oh, I can smell it. I could smell him." And then he, I said something. I said to him, "I went." I went, because I like Jamie a lot. Okay. <laughs> I like him a lot. That sounds like it's... An intervention. Yeah. And I went, um, and I goes, I goes, mate, I said, like, take it from me, like, I, I'm somebody who's on medication for my bad lifestyle. I said, but you're the most unhealthy person I know, like, the bad lifestyles. And he went, I'm only 31, I've got four more years, haven't I? <laughs> like, you can do what you want till you're 35. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can turn it off like a tap, mate. I'll just bang. I won't have anything else. I'll All right. t- cut everything okay. out. So I'm going to live chaotically for the next four years. Are you? Yeah, man. What time are you out till last night? Uh, I don't today? even... I swear I don't remember getting in, right? So I just woke up today and fucking text messages. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, I'm absolutely <laughs> fucking mortified, right? Because uh, just... Before you go on, I just wanted to give you a quick little lifestyle mm. health tip. You need to quit. Quit the boozing, yeah, before your skin becomes irreparably damaged. Your skin is the great indicator. I think my skin's all right, isn't it? It's not, mate. I'm is quite it? used. Callum? I'm quite... It's blotchy, mate. I'm dead smooth, hands. <laughs> it's not your hands. No one ever goes, oh. Feel my hands. <laughs> feel, <laughs> feel, <laughs> feel my smooth hands. I don't want to feel, feel your hands. Get hands, your hand please. away from me. I have them Watch, clean. Get, get the sausage away. <laughs> <laughs> get a <them> little ginger <laughs> sausage. <laughs> yeah. How soft are they? They're lovely, yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> See? Soft hands, baby. And uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm not yellow. <laughs> No, it's the it's the it's the it's the, the spots. Oh. You're 31, mate, and you've, you you did one of them things on you, you know, like they they did like an infrared. <laughs> they go, this is the uh, this is the skin of a 75 year old man. <laughs> 75 year old lizard. Yeah. Um, I, it's uh, looking soft, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, um, my caffeine shampoo. Yeah, that, fire that. that my stepdad got me for Christmas. As I, I don't know if you know what yeah. I did, he got me caffeine shampoo. shampoo yeah. To take the piss out of me going bald, and yeah. I got him a funeral plan. Yeah. <laughs> Basically saying, I wish he was dead. <laughs> um, and that went down like a lead balloon because one of his relatives died on Boxing Day. And it was Did he cash it in? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what a brilliant that's, a, that's one of the best re-gifts you'll ever do isn't it <laughs> normally it's soap innit or something like that but he's oh I'm sorry Auntie Julie your husband's dead but the co-op do a nice bronze package bronze <laughs> bronze that's what I mean oh, I think I, I want to I've been thinking a lot about death lately so I can't wait to go um, skin already has. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to be. I want to be cremated, and my ashes in different pubs. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Do you know what I uh, did with my dad when he died? Uh, we put him in fireworks. Did you? Yeah, all of him. Yeah. Well, we bo- <laughs> <laughs> just set him, just set head him up and with one. a leg <laughs> on a rocket. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody waking up in the morning? Was there a plane crash last night? No, I mean... No, his ashes. All his ashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just a, full, a full body part on a yeah. Catherine wheel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you like, laughing about my dead dad, man. Did you like, like fireworks? Uh, he said when he was alive, um, when I go, I want you to st- stick me in a rocket and send me to the stars. That's what he said. That's nice. It was it? nice. Yeah. So we did yeah. one in all the significant places where he liked to be, and that we did one, you know, Worth Low, the big hill. Yeah. So <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it was a bit of a trudge. <laughs> to be honest with you, at night we all walked up the hill. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> right, that's it. I know that's what I mean. Yeah. It's just over now, isn't it? Nah, I put it on Instagram. Got loads of likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, little sympathy likes. Yeah. Look yeah. <laughs> You wait. Remember when you were going to go watch fireworks with that lad from Blackpool? Oh, shut up, mate. He's a fucking menace. Him. It's a fucking nightmare. So there's this bloke, and he's fucking out of gold. Yeah, yeah. He's a but good guy. he's on the simple spectrum. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think they just call it the spectrum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think they call it the simple. He's on the complex spectrum. No, no, this guy, he's on the simple spectrum. Just either, uh, or, all right. And he messaged Callum saying, like, fucking, do you go and see the fireworks with me? And he messaged him going, oh, Jay Hutchinson really loves fireworks. <laughs> Does it all the fucking time. Do you like fireworks? Not hate them. I hate them, bonfire night. I, I did my first gig on bonfire night, actually. Out of protest about shit it is. Yeah. Yeah. I hate um forced fun. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Arranged fun. Yeah. It's mm. awful. Yeah, fun days. When you go past the school and it goes fun day eleven till three. So you have to be miserable to you till eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and cheer up for four hours. I've gone on a sag doing a couple of weeks and I'm yeah. half dreading that. Oh, I went and got my passport fucking went to Liverpool to do my passport night. I absolutely embarrassed myself. I absolutely got gonged off. Did I tell you about it? No. I'm so excited. Fucking got <laughs> So fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. I hate holidays. There's so much admin involved. I don't get why people travel. It's just too it's much like flying. I don't mind it. It's just... How's the altitude for you? <laughs> <laughs> Do they sell dinner on land? Do they you? take yoghurt <laughs> on plates? <laughs> fucking nuisance, you. Um... So I'm, I, I just don't, I don't like the, the admin side of holidays. Draw all the queue in and getting your fucking bags checked, putting yeah, everything yeah. in that one of plastic trays. Everyone's on edge in an airport. You don't want to, you want to make a mistake. Everyone's panicking. It stresses me out yeah. seeing people stress. It does me anything. It happened to me last time I went to the airport. This was before, you know, like now it's really bad, isn't it? But just after, just as people start going back on, everyone's super careful. Guy comes through and it goes, beep, beep. And he goes, is this your bag? Take so goes, and he gets a flask out. He goes, what's that? He goes, it's a flask. He goes, you can't bring liquids on the plane. He goes, it's not a liquid. It's soup. <laughs> <laughs> so the bloke goes, <laughs> so this is true. So the bloke goes, it's not a liquid. And the bloke goes, it's a moot point, isn't it, mate? Really? <laughs> it's a moot point. Yeah. He said, would I be allowed to bring a stew on? <laughs> He said it's a thick soup, right? Because it's not a liquid, it's a thick soup. Because it is a liquid. He said you can pour it. So he said, well, at what point would I be allowed to bring it on? And you know what the boat went, said? If it was frozen. <laughs> you could take frozen soup on a plane. Oh, that's great. God. Yeah? Oh, that's great. Soup. Yeah, I'll, I'll fucking... Yeah, so it's just loads of different... I don't... Everything, there's always a farm to fill in or yeah, something. Yeah. 
so I've I always lose my passport and that. Um, so I went down to you know to get an emergency, yep. you know, fucking hundred and fifty quid, and they get it in a week, sort of yeah. thing. Went it's down, like a terrorist, isn't it? Yeah. Went down. They've all got hundred and fifty quid, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> remember that? Eh? Yeah, yeah, remember yeah. when Britain used to be Britain? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowadays, we, any, we any Johnny Foreigner with hundred and fifty quid. <laughs> Go and get a passport, bring in the soup on the planes, <laughs> or the doll. <laughs> or the doll. <laughs> uh, I fucking get called up, so you know, like your ticket number and all that. And uh, you know, Perspex window? Yeah. Well, I headbutted it in front of 50 people. <laughs> I was, I was manoeuvring my chair. Yeah. I'm really uncomfy chairs. Yeah. Passport office. <laughs> I don't, I, I think that's mind games to try. How, <laughs> much, you, games. how, how much do you want to be in the country, sit on yeah. this hard chair for half an hour? I was manoeuvring the chair on my fucking, do you know Steve Bruce had against Sheffield Wednesday? Yeah. Like, fucking that proper <laughs> dock off head off. Um, was Brian Kidd running into the passport office? <laughs> <laughs> Bruce! <laughs> <laughs> fucking all off the fucking people there just all laughing at me behind yeah. my back and everything and I sit down and fucking rub my hair to this fella and he's and he went oh, watch the window well oh. no, yeah nice one <laughs> <laughs> cheers mate good chat um, and he, I, I only just got away with it because I've lost three passports but if you lose three in ten years like that's the rule do you know what I mean you're fucked you can't go abroad I don't know. They said something about you just in luck because you lost um, three in ten years and two months. So I've just got away with it. Do you use them on nights out? Is that why you keep losing them? I'm just thick. I said to him, I went, I'm <laughs> thick. He went, yeah. I think there's something to be said uh, yeah. that. If someone loses passports, you should be giving them a passport because there's a chance are they'll lose it overseas and we'll never let them back in. Mm. It's like natural selection, isn't it? Yeah, I lo- lost, I lost <laughs> one. Um... Studio bus station when I lost my virginity. Fell out my jeans. Yeah. Who, who did you lose it with? Uh, the bus, Travel the agent. Bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> did you pay somebody in a passport to suck you off? You know, in the front of the passport, it says, uh, Majesty the Queen requests you give them safe passage. Is that what you got? A bit of safe passage. She went up my back passage, not very safely, <laughs> with she? her big fucking Richmond fingers up me hoop. You can't talk about those <laughs> things. <laughs> They're penis fingers. Jamie, did you, the first time you had sex, somebody put the finger up your bum? Yeah. The first time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. had nothing to look forward to, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> You've Pink done everything else. You've no. hit pay, pay dirt. Oh, it was awful. Um, Who put, hang on a minute. Mm, How old were you? 19. In studio bus station, yeah. in a new one, interchange like the in the interchange, yeah, not in, but in one of the bus stands outside. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, be yeah. classic. <laughs> yeah. Not in the bus station. Yeah. I'm not a tramp. She, she was wa- she was wanking me off in front of her mate, and I was like, that was mate. <laughs> 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 so who was she? Uh, she's called Lindsay. No, in- <laughs> don't tell her real name. Uh, Linda <laughs> Pal Baker eh? Linda did you put your head through is that just Windows <laughs> not Linda's Linda of the Pound Baker yeah, yeah she went to the she had big baker hands that she stuck up your room <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 Oh, them needy dough fingers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, could you imagine going in getting a sausage roll the yeah. next day? Oh, no. Jamie ass on her fingers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mate. <not> so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Just bite into a sausage roll. Oh, what, what's that? <laughs> Pungent aftertaste. That smells like, the, <sighs> like a man who's prematurely receding <laughs> and forgetful. I lost my passport and couldn't go on holiday. You lost your passport, your virginity, and your hair all before you were 20. <laughs> for the tough life. Yeah, for the tough life. I had it, that's when I had my Justin Bieber hair. Yeah. When I used to wear spray it. <laughs> I used to be dead cute, you know. It's the cutest boy in the West. So, where did you, who was she? Did you know her before she put no, her in the No, I met her in a. I met her in a. Um, oh, it's that night called Carl in Printworks. It's a proper shithole. Uh, Norwegian blue, maybe. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Norwegian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was in there, and it was like shallow well. Mm. So I was just, I was absolutely fucking tearing shapes up on the dance floor. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'd, <clears throat> I had um, just fucking Tearing proper, his passport as well. Probably, <laughs> Not giving a fuck. 
<laughs> you see my moves. The fucking battle. <laughs> so I was, I was doing, I was doing the Hutchie Shuffle. Which, yeah, you know, my show, tra- show people the Hutchie Shuffle. Trade Mark dance. Um, and show them. <laughs> can't do it. I've not got the right shoes on. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a sick beat. Uh, what is it? How do you, what do you do? Do you move your hips independently from your body? Oh, sort of. You need to get the <laughs> Oh, you do the, the, the slide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the hutchy shovel, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick, okay. I used to just keep my body dead still. And then I just looked like I was floating across the dance floor. It was sick. No, it didn't. It was sick. You I was, struggled across the dance floor. I was floor. sick. I was sick. No, I used to be skinny. Uh, yep, you used to. <laughs> I used to be fucking svelte. Svelte, yeah. yeah. But it was like shallow yeah. well. So all these girls were dancing around me and everything, right? And it was dead fit. <laughs> And then I just switched and fucking picked this centre half out. Fucking, <laughs> fucking Pound Baker, Big Lins. And she took me back to Shoe Dill with her mate, and her mate just sat there. Like <laughs> and Lindsay was giving me a depressing wank job, and I was just like, that's all right. <laughs> and then we moved down to um, a different stand to, to yeah. fornicate. To consummate the yeah. relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, she moved down to the, to the next stand to, to do what she'd come for. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. To give her what she I, needed. And it was having sex standing up. I know it's hard, isn't it? I don't know how to do it. I don't know. I, I didn't know the it. angle. Do you know what I mean? I don't do anything standing up apart from comedy, mate. <laughs> I'm a purist. <laughs> I say my standing up for telling the truth on stage. Yeah. <laughs> truth bombs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolute nightmare. When did you lose your V plates? Um, about, I was about 16. And. Um, does it count? If <laughs> <laughs> Does it count? Does it count if it happened to me when I was 12 on camp? And I didn't want it. That, have I lost my... No. I went camping once when I was in the Scouts and there was a middle-aged man in the tent next to us and he wasn't a member of the Scouting organisation and he went, do you want to come in my tent and listen to Dire Straits? Fuck off. <laughs> and he went, I've got, I've got some cinder toffee. And I remember sitting in his tent and I was eating, do you know what Cinder Toffee is? No. It's like the inside of a crunchy without the chocolate. So it's like mainlining, mainlining like sugar. And he's going, it's like brothers in arms. Oh. <laughs> said, said in Buxton. And then I, just, so I don't know what it was. Someone just said to me, this isn't right. <laughs> no. He was about 45. He went, where are you going, young man? I went, oh, I just I need to clean my teeth. Oh. Well, I was Cinder Toffee. And I said to my mates, and they went, yeah, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? When well, did you not want to stop me? And he went, no. <laughs> I also got off with a girl once when I was 16 at a campsite in Crowden, which is on the Woodhead, which we thought was miles away. We were looking at it on maps, you know, going, we're going to Crowden. And like every time you go to Sheffield now, you just pass it in about 10 minutes and it's just there. And um, s- snogged the girl and uh, nothing else happened. And then uh, I was going for a pee in the toilet block and there was an ambulance there and she was in an ambulance. Well, how did you do <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't do anything. Yeah, okay. All, yeah. all I did, I'll tell you what I did. What did I you put in some, that cinder toffee? I gave her some cinder toffee. <laughs> I gave her the soft rock Buxton treatment. <laughs> yeah. It was really weird. It, it was a bit freaky. I thought someone, And then I thought I'd have to check myself. Maybe I, I, I'd caught something <laughs> off her. But apparently she was just exhausted. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Emotionally exhausted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Physically drained. I, I was quite a late starter. I was mm. Not as late as you. Well, I, I, I was dead paranoid about pubes because I'm fair-haired. And ginger. Cause, um. No, because I was late, not the uh, colour. Right. <laughs> and I, I, I thought if you wore... So I, I used to bathe in, yeah. in shorts because I used to think the steam would make hair. I used to, used to trap like steam. So I used to get in the bath for like trunks or shorts, and when it's dead hot, get all the like steam, trap it in me, like back in my shorts, and just keep what it. What you trying to hydroponic your pubes? <laughs> I, was, I was trying to do like the greenhouse effect Rex, yeah. for my pubes, yeah. Worked, I got Would pubes. You put baby bio on it. <laughs> yeah. Bit of miracle growth. I just thought, I thought steam made hair. You thought steam made hair? Yeah, oh, I thought you're it, a I thought, fucking myth, you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you must have... You, you don't you always talk about your brother with his special needs mm. and everything? <laughs> <laughs> you know he's doing a podcast now with his mates going, ah, Jamie's a fucking idiot. <laughs> he thinks that steam grows pubes. 
<laughs> when your brother, because your brother is like, you know, he's got his own kind of battle to fight, <laughs> and he looks up to you. <laughs> But he's not squatting you. <laughs> yeah, he looks down at me when he's punching me head in. Um, and then, so, so my that's my my, my first. I didn't I didn't have a lot of uh, romantic um, connections when I was a young man. I not like f- Callum. Look at Callum. Oh yeah, I, I was, was like the fucking breaker. Zorro of the world. I, I was the last one to lose my feet. Oh, was you? Yeah, yeah. Mm. It was uh, at some girls' house. We done on a couch, but the couch was just too small. So. <laughs> <laughs> The couch was too small. Yeah, yeah. The so chair that Callum. <laughs> <laughs> so she was lying down on it, but like, if like her knees were like up to her chest, and I was like on top of her, but my knees were like underneath her knees, and my jeans were just down here to my ankles, and I was. We were oh, like, this is the least sexy thing oh, I've it, ever heard. It in was my life. horrific. And yeah. We were trying to have sex, and then I could just, like, feel something watching me. And I turned around, and it was just a little pug. Just sat there, just licking its lips, just looking at me bum hole. Licking its lips? Yeah. Fuck off. them was class. Licking his lips. <laughs> you look a little bit like a pug, Jamie. you got to look What's at... a pug? You? Yeah. Are they the skin things, the ones with loads of skin? No. <laughs> they're, they're like, they look a bit like um, like a camp Winston Churchill. <laughs> French it's bulldog yeah, type pub yeah. thing, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. My, like a... Uh, men in black, when they have the little dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can't say that as an insult, really. No. I once uh, <laughs> snogging a girl on a, on a couch. Snogging over? Yeah, <laughs> snogging a girl snog. on a couch. <laughs> and uh, my mate Carl was in the chair watching us, and it, we, we, we were getting a bit steamy. Licking not his like, lips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at your bum hole. And he, went, he goes, he goes, uh, by the way, I'm here. <laughs> And I went, all right. He went, just letting you know, <laughs> I'm here. But no, I wasn't very, I never had girlfriends me when I was younger. I didn't no. have, never had a long term girlfriend. I had one. Uh, well, I, I, so I moved, I moved primary school in year five. Yes. Me mum and grand fell out over my dad's nose. My grandma's head dinner later. Over his nose? Yeah. What was up with his nose? He had an operation on it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's like helping breathe and that. So your mum <laughs> left dad because of the nose. No, no. Uh, so he was he was in hospital under sedation. Yeah. So she rang the hospital like, oh, oh, he's, and they said, "Oh, he's not come round yet." So then she dropped me off to school. My grand's had dinner later, um, <laughs> and my grand's gone. Oh, how's have you seen? How's Mark? He's went. Oh, I've not seen it. And interrupted my mum before she could carry on a so like he's still under sedation. He was like, Oh that's fucking typical, you've never fucking loved him. Blah blah blah. Oh, was the grand your dad's Yeah, oh, yeah, right. yeah. Oh. So so my gran and my nana had a fight like outside the prime like not a full on fist like, but like a bit of argy. words. Yeah, a bit of argy bargy. Yeah. Um and then my mum pulled me out of school. Tabards at six paces. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to take a tab out of that. When I get yeah. this off, I'll... Like the Warriors song. Yeah. Like, um, what's he called? That City player, he couldn't put it... What's he called? Why Always Me? Oh, Balotelli. Balotelli, yeah, yeah, yeah. do you remember when he couldn't put the, yeah, the yeah, desk yeah. on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, it's broke. So I moved primary school, and I thought, right... So your mum got you out of the school because your grand was there? Yeah, so she... Yeah. Th- so it, you know, because your gran being the head dinner lady would have affected your yeah, bit, educational bit, 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 bit journey. A bit of a like PR. It was, I was a pawn. I was a political pawn mm. in their game. <laughs> yeah, and, and Mark's nose. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I moved primary school. I think school. Mark's nose is really just sort of like the MacGuffin of the story, isn't it? It's not really. <laughs> There's more, isn't it? It's, oh there's yeah, more. yeah, there's layers to the story. Yeah, it's not it's, really it's, it's about the straw that brought it's the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, you know, um, Is she still with your gran? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she. Um, so I, I moved primary school and I thought, right, I'm going to have a bit of a a PR change here. I'm going to re. <laughs> I'm going to rebrand. Okay, I'm up for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to hear this one. You know, <laughs> so, here he is, Steamboat <laughs> Willie. <laughs> Well, I've got your trunks on still. <laughs> Why is that new kid got a kettle round his trunks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you used to do this in my old school. <laughs> yeah, all the lads there, loads of pubes. So 
So I turned into a bit of a bad boy. Oh, I did was, you? I was a bit academic then. I went a bit naughty, a bit cheeky, a bit rogue. Yeah. Um, but there was this girl who I fancied. Yeah. And I uh, I told her I played for Bayern Munich. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be too easy to find out if I said United. Or yeah, City. yeah. Because so, that's more plausible, isn't it? <laughs> Kidding Gordon. So, get when, the bus to Munchen. When, when we came to, when Munchen. We, I was on the way there the week at the bus station. You won't believe what happened. <laughs> that's why I never made it. Uh, so she was like, yo, what, what, what are you doing weekend? Like, I've got Frankfurt away. <laughs> <laughs> I like to put my Frankfurter yeah. away. Yeah. Um, and so to impress her, I I lied about... Um, sh- so I was trying to get an in with her, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She weren't impressed by the Bayern Munich stuff. Fair no. Um, so more changed. a St. Pauli purist. <laughs> <laughs> she hated Bayern Munich. Dortmund Ultra. Do- yeah, dominating <laughs> the league. It's an unfair system. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I uh, I overheard a talking once about you know we shot Phil yeah in EastEnders so oh, it's, and she was like oh it's amazing you know not not even the actors know we shot Phil and I went I know we shot <laughs> Phil <laughs> I said I, I just I was like Jay in the between us just when um, you know me uh, my drama teacher didn't go drama I made out yeah, of my yeah. drama school in between Bayern Munich matches. <laughs> 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 Triple threat. <laughs> Just to show I've got an emotional side yeah. as well. Yeah. I'm sensitive as well as, as well as sporty. A man of mystery, he's come from another school. Proper <laughs> 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 dehydrated skin from all the yeah. steam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no wonder your hands are soft. <laughs> Years later. Um, and uh, I, I told him a drama teacher knew is one of the producers on EastEnders, and I know who shot Phil. So to impress him, I lied and said, and just guessed at Ian Beale. Yeah. And for weeks, because it was a long running storyline. Yeah. And for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, I was you know friends of her and stuff. And then it came out it was Lisa who shot Phil, and oh. it's just oh spoiler alert if anyone's not caught up with that story. <laughs> well, if you. Uh, watching on the drama channel it's just turned it's Valentine's Day year 2000 and Who Shot Phil is in 2001 so you have spoiled it yeah Lisa's pregnant with Louise at the moment does she still think you play for Bayern Munich (laughs) (laughs) has that not come up yet (laughs) so you think you're Iron Robin (laughs) 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 I'm going to call you Steamboat Willie from now on. <laughs> Steamboat Willie. <laughs> um, and then it was a, this, this, this girl had the hots for me, right? Proper, wow. proper. You're about eight or nine now. Yeah, but yeah. this but was loads of pubes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a little Sasquatch. Like a gingy Yeti. <laughs> what school was it? Abbey A. I'd be a primary school, right? Um, this girl, this girl, uh, proper, proper fancy me, got around, like, oh, she, she fancies you and everything. And we went to the school disco at Abbey A Social Club. And yeah. it's proper boys on one side, girls yeah, on the yeah. other side, sort of, I'm not dancing with a girl, it's gay. You know what I mean? That kind of thing, right? And um, Big Stephanie said, go and ask Abby out. <laughs> Big I went, no, I don't fancy her. She went, ask her out or I'm going to jump on you. So I went, right, I'll ask her out then. So I went up to her, mm-hmm. asked her out, and the dance, the, the fucking dance floor cleared. Like dirty like, dancing? It was like a semicircle. And it was like I was proposing to her. I went, oh, will you be, will you be my girlfriend and that? And she turned around and ran off and just left me standing there in fucking oh. silence. She ran off crying because she was that emotional that I was asking her out. Yeah. Do you know what I, mean? I was a prince charming. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So I went out with her for a few weeks and then, when well, you finally caught her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, I, it weren't, it was, you know, it was it was one-sided, do you know what I mean? I weren't ready for that commitment. It was doomed. So um, I dumped her because she wouldn't colour a tree in red. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking for any excuse. <laughs> and she, she coloured it. Nothing uh, really changes, does it, brass. Jamie? No. You told us last night about texting girls, weren't you? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no, no. Oh. They're my favourite things to wake up to them oh, when you've been on a night out and he just sends me all the horrific messages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare, isn't it? 
I hate you. Do you ever... You don't drink now, do you? No, I don't, no. Did you ever have... How long yeah. have you not drank for? That's why I don't drink. Was it, did you get drunk text? Did you, uh, no, drunk I just... I, I was saying things, not texting. Oh, in... Oh, in, oh, in real life, yeah. Oh, was you? That's the problem when you're a yeah, comedian, yeah, you're yeah, a yeah. bit mouthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't need a drink to be a live wire. Yeah, yeah. And you start thinking, like, you've got so much confidence and you think you're funny, but, you, you know, you become... The same as everybody else. Yeah. Do you know this Callum about Jamie? This is right. I'm more I'm more emotional. Do you know what I mean? Right. I text acts and say they're underrated. <laughs> you never text me. <laughs> Do you know me and Jamie met met uh, when he was a child. Really? Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. What was the story behind it? Best in English, two thousand and six. I presented his school prize giving. <laughs> Fuck off, did yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, right. I, I won best best in English. <laughs> I've got the DVD at home somewhere. <laughs> Shake your hand. Yeah, yeah. And I, I had. This is how much of a fucking nonce I was uh, back then. How much I loved stand up. I used to play along to Mop the Week. <laughs> do, do you know, like this is the. You know, this is the answer. What's the question? I and you should pause it right, right your own. I, I, used, the right I used to play along. That's good though, yeah, that's okay, alright. Yeah, yeah. I just love to see how old were you? About 14, 15. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I started, oh my god, you know what I was doing the other day? Walking, I've, oh mate, I swear, I've been watching Mock the Week compilations on YouTube, right? For you know, the glory years of like 05, 06, mm. that kind of era. I was walking around my house pretending to be Andy Parsons. The other day. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing that for? <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> the 2005-2006, was that when um, Hugh Dennis used to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After every joke? Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. They, told, they must have told him about 2009 to stop doing that. Yeah, he, paid, he stopped doing it, didn't he? He did a lot of Jimmy Savile, didn't he, as well? Did he? Impressions, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got all Kurt in his fucking repertoire. What the yeah. fuck? What <laughs> forgot left? Um, I was speaking to my mate Martin Kellen the other day. He's a radio DJ. And he had Carl on from the Grumbleweeds, who uh, was Britain's best ever Jimmy Savile impersonator. <laughs> Like, and I said, how good was he? He goes, no, he was really good. He goes, it was a tragedy for him. I went, not so much a tragedy for him, <laughs> more the victims and everybody else. I mean, there was more tragic stories than uh, Carl. <laughs> this is how good an impersonary he was. This is a brilliant story, right? So Jimmy Savile used to keep his hand in doing local radio adverts because he was from Leeds. And he'd go, uh, he'd go, now then, this is Jimmy Savile. I'm here to tell you, get yourselves down there. Now then, now then. Bargains to be had at Jimmy's, uh, Johnny's Carpets in Beeston, right? Mm. If he was in London or he was doing a marathon or he was, well, well, we know what he was doing. If he was busy, he'd phone Carl from the Grumbleweeds. <laughs> he'd do the advert for him and then split the money 50-50. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that, isn't it? Yeah, that's how good he was at impressions. Giving it a bit of the old Jimmy Savile. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, speaking of uh, Jimmy Savile and, you know, the knock-on effect and people who are affected by it in mysterious ways, um, there was an IT guy <laughs> at my uncle's company who I was talking to about in the car and he, he was dead. He was just a stereotypical IT fucking nerd. No conversation about him. And um, he, his company was called Tim Will Fix It. Oh, <laughs> and, and he just went really no like sense of humor or irony. He's like, oh, only just got the van sprayed because <laughs> he had like the Jim will fix it logo, but his face like the yeah. fucking keyboard and that. Jim will fix. <laughs> just does it come out? Just had it. Just had the logo done. You know, um, at two thousand and one, when the um, twin towers came mm. down, September eleventh. Just reminded that. <laughs> 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 Unless you're watching on the drama channel. <laughs> Spoiler. So, the night after it happened. You're watching on Dave Jarvu. <laughs> the night after it happened, I was in the Frog and Bucket and uh, Dave Perkins was colouring in the Twin Towers on the Peter Stuyvesant cigarette machine. <laughs> he just had to colour him in with the marker to remove him. Yeah. That is funny. Oh, just below uh, Dudley's uh, Battle Bar. <sighs> Dudley Small piece, you don't know him. This was before your time. <sighs> but the a, glory is. There's a broke Manchester who looked like Dudley Moore, but that's all. It, he didn't sound like him. <laughs> it just looked like they used call him uh, Dudley yeah. Small piece. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking hell! I was. Um, didn't you nearly kill someone? Uh, <laughs> sleeping with someone. You just reminded me. 
Yeah, yeah. What happened there? In Magaluf. What happened now? What, like, I'd spoke about it on another pod. I'm still mentioning it now. Yeah? Yeah. Which other pod? Uh, have a word. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No one, no one listens to both of those. <laughs> this and that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, in Magaluf was with this girl in a room having sex, and then she went to me. Should we take it up on the balcony? And I was like, absolutely. So then we went on there, and then she jumped up, put her legs around <sighs> me, but I put like my arms under her thighs, and because it was Magaluf, it was in the summer, sweating, and like I'd done like one big thrust, and she just like popped off me. And she. she <laughs> So she, <laughs> <laughs> off me. so she, she, she flew off me, dead quick, and then, <laughs> she, and then she, like an otter, <laughs> <laughs> sliding down the bank, an eel, yeah. and she flew backwards and hit her back like on the balcony. Oh, it could have been worse. Could have been the other way around. It could have been on the edge of the balcony. Oh yeah, that one landed in the pool. With all families and <laughs> how many floors up were you? <laughs> I think it was like four. That would probably man that killed her. Life changing yeah, injuries. Yeah, yeah, that would have been worse. I think. You know what happened to me on holiday once? What? I was in Malia and mm. uh, before before it became commercial, <laughs> and uh, I got on holiday at the end of the season with my mate Jackie and my mate Neil. So it was a girl and two lads, and we were just mates. And uh, we were staying in like um, this, these apartments, but they were slightly out of Mali. We had to go up a, a hill with no lights and everything. And Jackie said to us, listen, whatever you do, right, whatever you do, don't leave me on my own. If you're going to go home, I'll come with you. If you're going to cop off, tell me I'm going to get attacked. Just don't leave me. So it was all right. So we're all out in this nightclub. And there was some girls from Burnage who were staying in the flat below us. And we were getting on with him really well. And this one girl, like, never used to happen to me. I was about 22, 23. And she goes, uh, do you want to go back to mine? And I went, why have you got an headache? <laughs> 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 I thought there was something wrong so with So caring. <laughs> I went, why, what, what are you enjoying? She went, no. And I went, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Please. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> so, uh <laughs> So we, we, we go back and uh, she gets me a drink and it was like a 1970s sitcom. She actually said, I'm going to go and slip into something more comfortable. Oh. <laughs> and uh, not like slip out of something like yours. <laughs> so uh, I'm there on the balcony having this uh, like this beer and, and I was thinking, oh, she's ex- like, because, you know, this sort of thing doesn't happen to me and I really, she's really nice, you know what I mean? Like, in retrospect, I'm like, oh, really nice. Yeah. <sighs> Next thing I know, I've seen Jackie walking up the hill. <laughs> Well, I went, what's up? She went, you fucking bastard. I went, what? She went, I went, Neil was there. She went, he wasn't. And he, he's the one that let her down. Mm. So uh, so the girl comes back in and the girl immediately thinks, oh, J- Jackie must have an interest in me. She's now mad at it. And it just killed the mood. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like, you know, you know, put the dressing gown back on. And I'm like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, that ended. Anyway. The next day, um, the next day, we're uh, we're all chatting on the beach, and Jackie explains that no, she was mad because he left her, and the girl was like, "All oh, right, yeah." But the moment had gone. Then it was nearly the end of the holiday. So anyway, about four weeks later, we all meet up with these girls and Jackie and um, and Neil's there because we're sharing photos because this is how old I am. <laughs> we had to get them processed, and we're all looking at photos and everything. And uh, the girl says to me, she goes, oh, you're all right. And I was going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a little bit of like, oh, yeah, it's the one that been? got away. Yeah, yeah. And she went, oh, she went, oh. She went, I mean, in retrospect, it's probably the best thing anyway. It didn't happen, wasn't it? And I was like, all right. She went, she goes, because I didn't want to, you know, are you all right now? Is everything okay? And I went, what? She went, are you all cleared up? Oh, no, <laughs> no way. So I went, what are you on about? So Jackie had told him that I'd got a dose, <sighs> Right. But not only that, I'd got it off this particular girl that I'd copped off with a, a, a week before, and they knew where she worked, right? They told her. And for the rest of the other day, every time I scratch myself, every time oh. I sound comfortable, Jackie was like, that to them. <laughs> that isn't the worst bit. Oh. They wrote a letter to this girl calling her a skank. <gasps> you must have known you had it and everything else, and you gave it to him. Oh, my God, what did she do? I don't know, never, I never... You spoke to her again? Never spoke to her Fuck again. Fuck yeah, that's grim, that, innit? I know. 
fucking cock block or what? Uh, so I still bring that up with Jackie now. <laughs> like, that's about 30, 30 years ago. Oh, it's the mate to her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I, I've, have you had... Um, that was the end of that anecdote. Uh, <laughs> anecdote <laughs> over. Yeah. Um, Edit point. <laughs> you were putting a big gig on for the old Ukrainians at the Apollo? No, so. I'm doing it for Russia, to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> I think... This, don't believe the mainstream media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's not all. No. Um, Got we, Matt Letizia on. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Oh, he's weird, isn't he? Popped red the ball. He's gone weird, hasn't he? There's a few who've gone weird. There's what? a guy who used to be in Corrie. He's gone weird as well. Matt Letizia's like everything. Like COVID denier. COVID denier, ah. flat earther. Oh, it's weird. Yeah, he's from Jersey, though, isn't he? Somewhere yeah. like Guernsey. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he never left Southampton. <laughs> like, well. oh, I can't go up there. The earth's flat. I'll fall off. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking weird, though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, do you think how good he would have been if he'd have taken into account the curvature of the earth? <laughs> <laughs> His passing would have been even better. I um, I don't. Is he a flat? Uh, he's one of them. He's all sorts. It's of everything's a conspiracy. Yeah, tin hat, proper tin hat bloke. But um, yeah, so uh, on Monday we put in a gig on um, at the Apollo in Manchester. By this might be. When does this come out? It'll be, oh, it'll be gone. Two man. weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. So two weeks ago <laughs> <laughs> we put a gig on. It went really well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so yeah, but, but, uh, so it's one of them things that you can do in stand up. I think it's dead easy. I think, I think we're sort of like most people in this game are friendly, aren't they? We all, most people get on. There's one or two people that nobody likes. There's one or two personal beefs in there and all that, <laughs> you know. But most people are all right with each other, and we're quite, I think, often lone wolves. We plough our own furrows, but then occasionally we get together, we do things like this, and it's nice and everything else. But I think when it comes, push comes to shove and we have to help people out, I think we're really good at it. I think it's, I think that's one of the things we can do because it doesn't cost us anything. We turn up, oh, you want me to show off, do you? And feel good about myself. Yeah, it's low maintenance, isn't it? Yeah, like and I don't know if you've been involved in these things like, you know, when one of our mates will have a bad time, you know, just we, we have a whip round and yeah, I, yeah, I, it's, yeah. I, it's always a nice thing that. Yeah, I remember um, when there was beef, the comedy station in Blackpool, which is a mint club in Blackpool. Yeah. If any of you say, are about go and check that out. Proper mint lineups. Um, when Did you play Jamie, what? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ryan. <laughs> I'll be in touch from a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they, they was like, you know, I've been murdered with a fucking Joe, someone trying to sue him or whatever yeah, yeah. it was, and just everyone boycotted the other place. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It was just like, uh, yeah, they opened it up for, like exactly like direct way. Yeah, you just you just see like. Um, <laughs> People who are crossing the picket line, all the shit I'm doing. <laughs> fucking, I'm doing a fucking gig. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you can probably see this shit <laughs> still going on. I didn't even know he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> like that Ian Wright video. Yeah. <laughs> Someone saw me, you died. <laughs> <laughs> The boss is a bit embarrassed at that, isn't he? He goes, no, very much alive, Ian. Yeah, yeah it's lovely, that, isn't it? Yeah. Did you see it when um, United put a team sheet out and it had Cavani, Cavani on? And um, so someone put the Ian back, I thought you was dead. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh. And so who did you have on? You had Les Dennis on. Who did we have on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> somebody, somebody might not have turned up. There might have been a crash on the M6. <laughs> so what was planned to be on was um, um, uh, me and John Thompson, uh, Adam Rowe, uh, Les Dennis, Joe Pasquale, Johnny Vegas, Jason Manford, Kiri, Pritchard McLean, Deliso, Chaponda, Danny off. McLaughlin, uh, trying to think of it, Dave Spikey, um, loads of people. It, 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 was, it was amazing. It really was. He Tickets says. available in the past. <laughs> well, but you can still make, I mean, the war might yeah. be over by the time this comes out. No. Imagine the war, the war fucking finishes before you big gig. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> We'd give it to uh, give it somebody else, I think. No, because there's still, there's still reparations to be made, isn't there? Another country. No, because it's, it's a bit screwed, isn't it? Ukraine at the minute. Are you still struggling not to say the Ukraine? The Ukraine. I always say Ukraine. Oh, do you? I've never referred it to as the. So old, aren't I? <laughs> was it used to be the? People say the Ukraine. You say that, isn't People in Liverpool say yeah. the Asda, don't they, as well? Yeah. The we're all in the Ukraine. <laughs> Here's the we're all. Oh, the same. Here's the we're <laughs> Do you say, um, do you say Asdas? I do, in sta- I do in my stand up set. Do I know Asdas? Yeah. 
before um, you got Asda's, but I say Asda. Going up the Asda's. Yeah, Morrison. I got Morrison's. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you do your shopping? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Where'd you do your shopping, Callum? <laughs> Aldi. You don't. You're just saying that, so you no, don't. I love Aldi. Do you? Yeah. It's fucking great. Vegan food class in there. Is it? Are you a vegan? Veggie, but sometimes I dabble. Right. <laughs> Sometimes you go, ironically, the whole hog. (laughs) (laughs) What are the Morrisons? What What do you mean, Morrisons? Because I was just, I was just um, ironically saying it was a boring conversation, but you didn't pick up on it. Fucking hell! I've got layers. (laughs) I got gears. I was telling her, Justin, about how I did your stand-up bit on Wednesday. Oh, I've heard about this bit, mate. Mate, I've I've got some ideas how you can improve it. (laughs) Is it the wallet bit? The wallet tag. He said change it to wallet and it'll Well, work. I say change it to cash because it's got a hard K. That's always funny, isn't it? K- K- cash. cash. Yeah, I'll try it. I've not got any cash. And he's telling me, and I thought he'd had a stroke, right? I thought Jamie'd had a stroke in the car, but he just finished the conversation. Oh. You should see how he delivered it, though, because yeah. he's a... So is, is dead so do the bit uh, now for us. Absolutely not. He's dead, I'll do it. I'll do the bit. I can, I'll, I can right. do it. He's dead performative, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like, I'm, I believe... I'm, I'm sure everyone has a meeting yeah. in the morning. How to annoy Callum. Yeah. Do you, do you all get together, do you? Do you? <laughs> ah. First item on the agenda, how to annoy Callum today. <laughs> <laughs> but he delivered the punchline. Oh, I forgot my pace. <laughs> so Proper funny. jazz hands. The, the worst thing was that was the opening joke, and then I had loads oh. of new stuff as well. Like it was just a new set. So I was like, I'll do this bit, and I was like, I'll get a little laugh there, you know, like to build up momentum. Yeah. And it got nothing, and all he heard was him <laughs> and two others just screaming. What did you like, say? Just on the pace bit. Did you just go? Did you just go? Oh, just me on that one. I just thought, I, know, I just started giggling a bit because it yeah. makes me laugh. Like, say if something's dying. If you're doing new material, can you go, oh, that's shit, innit? Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. It does, like, you need to try it. And the audience go, you don't need to sell us, mate. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I hate, new material nights, is people going, give that a six. Oh! oh! Yeah. A plus. <laughs> yeah. B minus. We'll keep that one. <laughs> Shut up. I you know I hate? This is my, this is my bet noir in stand-up completely. <laughs> Da 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 da, half decent joke. Yeah. Shut the rest of the day off when I wrote that one. <laughs> oh no, uh, yeah, yeah. I always I always used to say to Danny, I want to shout out going, should have carried on writing, mate. <laughs> you was in a particularly an unusual rich vein of form that day. Cause that that glistens. That glistens like a diamond in the sack of shite that's the rest of your stuff. I hate it when a joke gets enough like a, a cringy pun mm. and then they go. Fuck off. That's a great joke. No. Uh, no. Yeah. What are you doing, I mate? Hate, I hate comics. You, like, you've seen their set and they go on a new material night with a notepad. Yeah. And just do their <laughs> yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. And then they look at the notepad like, oh, that works. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, you do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the notepad, that's oh, really I did a I did new material night in Leeds last week and the, old, the best bit of the whole thing was when I got the book at one point and just closed it and it made a really resounding slap. <laughs> it was a lovely moment. It was the best bit of the whole thing was me closing my... I went, oh, if I could do that every night, it sounded really good. I had a blue jacket on and a yellow book. I went, oh, Ukraine. <laughs> and then <laughs> nobody laughed. I went, blue and, 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 and yellow. Like the flag. Yeah. <laughs> Who calls it the Ukraine? <laughs> Just me on that one, there, guys. <laughs> well, I took the rest of the day when I, read, when I wrote the Constitution of that country. So I was, I was, I was doing this thing, and there was a woman sat there. It's a new material there. About 40, 50 people in. Yeah. Dead support, you know. And the people go, it's dead supportive. Oh yeah, yeah. it's a really supportive night. This is you know, the very comedy savvy. Oh, <laughs> oh God. God shit. Is that as bad as? As bad as? Um, I mean, they might not be laughing, but they're listeners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hate that. Oh, the coincidence is every time you do a gig, they're always <laughs> listeners. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, so I do this go- and I went, um, and I, I was doing some stuff, and I was going, I'm, I'm just throwing ideas out, and I went, who here? Right, this all comes from, like, my nephew was about 10, he walked in our house one day, and he had a waistcoat, and he goes, who here likes me waistcoat? <laughs> So it always makes me laugh the way to it. So sometimes I do new material, I go, who here hates fat people? <laughs> I just do it for, I go, who here hates fat people? There's a woman over there, she went, she went, that's rich. I went, do you think I don't know I'm fat, you oh. fucking idiot? Fuck you. Yeah. She had pink hair. 
guess. Comedy savvy, listen. Comedy yeah. savvy, yeah, no personality, I had to die a rare pink. <laughs> uh, fucking nightmare. I don't um I don't like doing a full set of new material I've offered. Really. Well we know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my dream is in you being So that's something we don't know. <laughs> got this great new perspective. <laughs> got a bit about perspex. Um, <laughs> so when you delivered it better than I did. I know. <laughs> that was the funniest yeah, thing. Yeah. I, oh, oh, yeah. So I went on and opened with it yeah. a couple of days later because he was in the audience. Do you know the story about um, Stephen uh, K. Amos going on the Royal Variety and opening with Mike Gunn's opening line? I oh, don't know. Yeah, so Mike Gunn's got an opening line. He goes, uh, I'd have to be here, you know. I've got money. I mean, it's sad up in my parents' house. <laughs> yeah. So I'm waiting for him to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephen opened without the Royal Variety. So there was a big hoo-ha, a big row about it for ages. Him. Like, proper big row. Anyway, they were both in the comedy store one night, and it was really tense. I think there was, like, actual fisticuffs. Oh, shit. Like, it was really tense. And uh, Dave Johns goes on stage. He goes, ah, 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 ah. I, I don't have to be here. He goes, I've got money. And everybody uh, goes, oh, he goes, he goes, yeah, tied up in Mike Gunn's parents' house. <laughs> And the audience was like, oh, <laughs> don't even make any sense. Oh, no, James has got that one. He goes, uh, have you yeah. seen that? He goes, what's your name? What's your name? Jamer. Pardon? Jamer. Yeah, I heard what you said. I'm just pardon. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Where are you from, Wales? Sorry. No, I heard you. I'm just sorry. Shut oh. up. No, I all that is, it, is it Mike Gunn who had that really famous story about when he died? Is it like to do with the um, the lift? Is it Mike Gunn? Was that not 9-11? <laughs> You're thinking of Nicholas Cage in 9 <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but uh, he died at a gig, and then I think it was like a corporate gig or something. You have to get a lift with them all. <sighs> yeah, but it was like the lift that you throw your plates on. Oh, he had to get the dumb waiter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was him, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, him, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, did a, I did a gig once, died so bad at a corporate. It was at Christmas, it was in Windsor. And it was for uh, Energizer, right? You know, the batteries. Yeah. <laughs> so I go on and I go, I go, oh, Energizer, I oh, love your drinks. Keep me going when I'm on the road. <laughs> and they went, we're, we're the battery company. <laughs> I went, I know, it's just, it was just doing, it's just doing, I was that, I was that, I was that, just, I was just doing a joke, mate. <sighs> and they went, anyway, anyway, I went, I'll tell you what, anyway, I, I said, uh, I said, tell you what, I said, I said fuck. Fuck that Duracell buddy, eh? What a wanker, that Duracell buddy. This boy went, we're the same company. So then I went, right, okay. Um, 38 minutes to go. Yeah. <laughs> and I smoked in those days, but they were all staying in the hotel and I couldn't have a smoke and just stayed in my room all night. Oh. Oh. I did one the other week. I did the, the uh, Arable and Grassland uh, Growers Association annual dinner. I said, uh, oh, it's great to be here. I said, uh, we're literally rewarding people who are outstanding in their field. <laughs> right? Nice. And they all went, <laughs> I went, oh, I'm going to plow on. Right? <laughs> and they went, oh, I thought, oh, where am I going to go with this one? I went, you're the only people at work that can go, oh, I love rape. <laughs> 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 they cheered. <laughs> They cheered. Oh, sounds great. I I love um, <laughs> I just love gigging with Callum and just doing, but junk. his material. Yeah, <laughs> just giving each other stupid stuff to do. Yeah, I I because uh, we just set each other up to fail. I made him fail with um, uh, we did a tribute band, uh, tribute fucking festival thing, and um. <laughs> <laughs> we was just joking on the way, just giving fake names to everyone that came on the radio. And um, I told him, you should do that on stage, you know, you'll kill it. Yeah. <laughs> and it <laughs> the, the first time we properly met as well. Yeah. Yeah. The first two died and they were like, oh my God. <laughs> and then his first, his home run was, but what about them? WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> You're a free Justin, innit? Just absolute silence. Is that UB-40? Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolute silence. Dry, dry, dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, it's, it, it's a weird fucking gaff, you know the, be, uh, the best uh, tribute act name I've ever heard there used to be a band called um, um, Gay Motorbikers on Acid right there was a natural name of, of punk. Gay 
but spelled like Marvin Gaye. Oh, but right. it's got gay motorbikers on acid, right? <laughs> and their tribute band was called Lesbian Dopeheads on Mopeds. <laughs> <laughs> and you know there's a band called Cud, right? And their support their uh, tribute band was called Cud Two, <sighs> and they used to support them. <laughs> so Cud Two would go on as a tribute act, do Cud songs, and then Cud would go on afterwards. There's a, there's a Daft Punk tribute act to Double Up as the Pet Shop Boys, you know. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. What are they called? I don't know because oh. we watched... my mate used to be a lookalike, and he was in a proper lookalike in an agency, right? Do you know who he was? And this is a true story. What what era? Nineties uh, to now. I'm you'll never get go. it. You'll never get it. Jason Orange. No, no, you'll not get it. The Stig. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to say you could do Daft Punk as well. If, you know, if you met the other Stig, there's another Stig you could do Daft Punk. Uh, yeah, he was a, a, a Stig look like he'd go to like Truck Fest and just turn up the Stig. And people think it was him. You get a lot of money for that as well. A few hundred quid. That's too much. That More than we it. get for doing that gig. You know, because yeah. we probably get the comedy in that gig. Mm. Imagine it. Really urban and great. Truck fest. I've seen like a... I hosted a truck fest once. Yeah. Truck fest. Yeah. Oh my God. I've done some proper shit gigs, mate. I've done some like weird... Did a gig one? I, did, I, ho- I emceed Old Trafford in front of 35,000 people once. Oh, shit. What was that like? Uh, you know what? It was so good. It happened, what happened was I was in the crowd. So I was on the big screen, but I was yeah. in the crowd chatting to people. And I happened to talk to these three little kids. I goes, where, where, who are you with? They went, oh, we're on our own. I went, where are your mums and dads? They went, our mums are on all, holiday. They've all gone on holiday together. That's why we're here. I went, where are your dads? They went, in the bar. <laughs> and the next thing you know, the camera pan around and the dads are all walking back. 35,000 people booing them. It's like, I've got it. I've got away with it. Cool. What's your name? What do you do? Bingo. I'm done. <laughs> oh, were they comedy savvy? They were comedy savvy kids. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell, what was that for? Uh, it was like, um, it was one of them Legends games. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a test one. Then I had to introduce uh, diversity or something, you know, and then... Oh, the yeah. dancers. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I had to just... No, I had to just <laughs> diversity. Just diversity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what the crowd? Yeah. Here's a disabled man. Here's a black one. <laughs> Madam, are you a lesbian? We've got it! We've hit every target. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, are you a lesbian? <laughs> I I'm just sorry it's the pink hair I assume I'm sorry you look comedy savvy and you're loving <laughs> I like your dungarees oh that mate that was too far that was too far that stereotyping I like dungarees I had a girlfriend when I was my first girlfriend is a lesbian now because of you I don't think so I mean, she just found who she was in life and everything else once when I had a girl called Andrea, I really liked her. I liked her a lot. I went round to her house. She lived in a pub, right? I went round to her house, and her cousin came out. Who was about fifteen, and I was about thirty. She went. She don't want to see you. And I went. But and then the cousin punched me. The girl. <laughs> Why? <laughs> to end the conversation. <laughs> For fuck's sake! Yeah. That's, that's right. Punched me in the arm. Fucking jab in the nose. And I got home. I got home. And <laughs> some lads who lived near me called Twinny. Right? The two twins. <laughs> and uh, went, what have you done? I went, oh, that thing, you know her. He went, yeah. Went, her cousin punched me. And he went, and they went, is he older than you? I went, mm, mm. <laughs> And he was wearing a ring. <laughs> <laughs> I got pushed over by a girl in, in front of people. It was two years younger than me as well. Oh. So I was playing football. And, uh, <laughs> For Munich. <laughs> <laughs> She was Stefan Effenberg's daughter. <laughs> Stefan Effenberg's daughter. <laughs> I was playing football, and I and I I I said beef. <laughs> Just randomly. Yeah, I, I can't. I went, oh, beef. <laughs> I, I can't remember why, but I said the word beef. And I don't know the context. What I said the word beef. She went, what you want beef? I went, no, I'm, I'm just saying beef. She said, beef? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she just thought I was declaring beef on her by like saying beef. <laughs> and she went, I'll give you fucking beef. And came over to him, 
fucking pushed me. I was on mud and I just fucking slipped oh, backwards yeah. and I could feel myself fall. It's, and a pathetic. Did you go down in stages. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like a proper little squelch on me bum as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fucking depressing, mate. And then uh, they they uh, picked on me for quite a bit. They threw me bag in a tree as well. Oh, it's rough, that mate. It is rough. You're right. What? <laughs> what now. was in your bag? Like steam kit? Condensation. <laughs> 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 have you got any mates that are twins? Um, I, I, I have. I've been. I've been. I, I got escorted from a party by two twins, and I thought I had double vision. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a mate called twins called Ratty right yeah. but we're mates with one of them and uh, so we refer to him as Ratty but we refer to his brother as Ratty's brother <laughs> so they go who's coming go Ratty and Ratty's brother <laughs> right and we, we, we had that for years we didn't know that Ratty's brother's mates called Ratty Ratty's brother so they have it the other way around <laughs> oh wait I, I, this is mad right <laughs> okay. so so there's there's uh, Two twins. Um, yeah, that's when, 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 when I used to, <laughs> that's how it works, much, man. When I used to start, when I used to start going. Two go, twins, not one. <laughs> well, this is it. Yeah. So it was called Becky and Candy, right? Yeah. And I, I swear yeah. to, I swear to God, right? This is a film you've seen. For, <laughs> <laughs> for Becky and Hard Candy. Uh, for the uh, for the first year. Of me going out, I'd never because I'd never seen them in the same room together. Yeah. I didn't know they were twins. I thought they was the same person, and Candy was a nickname for Becca. And then my head fell off when they fucking like had a, jo- had a joint party, yeah, and came wow. in together. I, I, for a year, I knew them both separately, <laughs> but for one was a nickname. Did you think one was forgetful? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See you, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why do they call you Candy? What? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that most <laughs> magicians' assistants are twins? That's in um, what's that film? The Prestige. Yeah, yeah. it's good that film. Isn't yeah, it's a great film. Have you watched it? No, Just no. give you the spoiler. It's <laughs> <laughs> a twin at the end. <laughs> right, is that was done now. That's one hour nearly. <laughs> exactly. And on that uh, prestigious note, <laughs> walking smash. Yeah, yeah, was class. Comedy savvy cameras. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming down, Justin, mate. Thanks for uh, having us. Do you want anything to plug? Your own podcast? Can do if you like. Doesn't really matter, does it? But I have got one. You can Google me. Yeah, I'm here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> Thirty minutes to forty-five minutes podcast. Very good listen. I've been on it a couple of times. It's mm-hmm. great. Um, Callum, do you have anything to plug, mate? Ah, just the my socials at Callum Oakley. All right, sign up to the membership, please, because I'm very close to getting kicked out, so I need all your money. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm still working on a date for a working progress show. Though some of you tweeting and that, I will get it sorted, and you'll be the first to know. Uh, right, we'll see you next week. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>